what's cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, remember Ashley Hotchkiss. <laughs> I love this lady. I love her food, and and you're bringing something that's right up our alley. During the summer, you just want that fresh, just that shrimp involved in that. So so you you got some shrimp, but I don't know what you're doing with it. Yeah, I got some shrimp. All right, what First are we doing? I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper. Okay. I'm gonna put a little more. You gotta spice it up a I little like bit. That. You know yeah. how you know how to like that. Th okay. This is a woman who's got my flavor palette down to a T. Yep. You know one of the things I'm gonna miss about zest. You know what, what it is. Your, butter. The butter. <laughs> I love the butter. <laughs> There's a lot that I'm going to miss, but that's one of my favorites. All right, so we've got okay. some crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper. That way, you put them in first so they get in the oil and flavor everything. Okay. Spice up everything. I'm going to put the onion in next because that's going to take the longest to cook. Even longer than the shrimp. Really? Now, oh, with the shrimp most of the time, those are some good sized shrimp. Uh, and you do the de <laughs> the deveining and all that good I stuff. Just clean them up. I like to leave the tails on just because they look nicer when you plate them. So get that going. Uh, you know, I always, this is funny, I'm going to tell you this. I always have a tough time any time that we add peppers to anything. <laughs> it's like, like if I ever got maced, I'm going down. I mean, I'm going straight down. There's no chance. I've got no tolerance for that corn. kind of stuff. Corn. Okay, that's just salt and pepper. Now, any kind of corn will do? Um, Whatever's freshest. I got that today at the store. And I just, right now, because of the no rain problem, I just opened up every one, made sure it was a good one before I picked it. Just peel it down yeah. a little bit. Because especially if you know you're getting ready to use it, it doesn't matter yeah. if you do that. So I'm okay. just going to zest one lemon. This is the best way to do it. The fastest. Get oh, the and I love any time that you add zest to anything. Um, no pun intended. But the... <laughs> I don't know, it just the flavor really comes out. It's a lot different than just like doing dry but, lemon pepper or something. You can really, that flavor really yeah. kind of jumps well, all out. All the oils are in the skin, so that's where the flavor is. Okay. Without the acid. Okay, so squeezed one. out a half a lemon. You, you can find this half. recipe at myhighplains.com. I know we're kind of running mm -hmm. through it quickly. And with shrimp, one of the things that I'm always worried about when I cook shrimp is cooking it too long. Yes. So what's, what's the requirement there? Even the big ones, just like that, probably four minutes tops. No more than that, you're, no. or you're going to No take more than over. that. So I have some fresh basil here, too. I have some goat cheese, but I'm going to add that at the very end. Okay. It'll just sort of melt. So with the, this is pretty impressive. Did you know that you grow your own, you do your own basil? How, how I do you agree do this. that? I have a topsy-turvy. <laughs> and that's it? <laughs> yeah. I have a big pot, too, with herbs, but this one works pretty well. See, I I can, herbs out if, there. if I tried to do a garden, Ashley, I mean, I would yeah. kill it. It's amazing that I've been able to keep my dogs alive this long. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm like horrible. My lawn is dying. Uh, my plants, I'm just not, I'm not good when it comes to that. I think the basil must really like the heat because everything else is kind of dying. But, but the, the basil's, basil's hard, huh? And the mint's going crazy. Who knew? Okay, so what's so, our next? You're going to chop that up. You add that at the end or you go ahead and throw it in now? I'll throw it in now. Just roll it up and then slice it in little thin strips. That lemon zest, and it's that perfect, uh, and you know, you could kind of match that with either, I don't know, what kind of wine would you go with? Chardonnay. You'd go with for the Chardonnay sure. for I sure. Would. That's I made this for dinner on Saturday, and we had a nice bottle of Chardonnay. It was delicious. So you would go I'm Chardonnay. You know, what I would, you know what I'd pair it with? I'd pair it with, a nice, well, I'd, I'd pair it with a nice summer ale, one of, the, one of the seasonals that come up, maybe a wit beer that's got a little bit of the spice in there. It's just something fun that you'd have during the summer. So uh, you can try that nice out. Okay. Should be done. That's it. And so now Finish. we're going to do some TV magic. Smell we are going to go to break and we're going to plate this up. And as always, if Ashley is in the kitchen, you know I'm going to eat like half a plate. <laughs> so you production guys better get in line. Yeah. We'll be back after this.